Hello everyone and welcome to my video. My name is Aaron John. The objective of this video is how to use NSLOOKUP and DIG for footprinting or reconnaissance. First of all, what is NSLOOKUP and DIG? NSLOOKUP and DIG are network utilities built in Command Prompt or Linux terminal ship. These network utilities resolve DNS to IP address queries that have been configured in the network settings. From a security point of view, DNS can be exploited to where you can find organizations, public and private servers, services, and IP addresses. Some DNS servers will give information regarding to domains mail servers and DNS servers without authorization. We can resolve these domain names and DNS servers and mail servers to IP addresses using tools. These make great tools for information gathering. Let's go ahead and start by using NSLOOKUP. What you want to do is open command prompt by going to start and then searching for CMD or in, in earlier versions of Windows go to start and then run and then type CMD and press enter. In the command prompt type NS lookup and as you can see it gave my router IP name the address of my router my local IP address 192.168.1.1. Now, let's say we want to find out the DNS to IP address with a website, such as Google.com. Let's find out what the IP address for that is. And as you can see, it gives me a list of IP address. So if we go to our web browser to resolve this, we just type in a different website name. And then we type in an IP address from the list. And as you can see, it resolved Google just fine. Now, let's say we want to find out how many mail servers Google has. To do this, let's type set type equals mx, press enter, google.com. And as you can see, there's five mail servers. And it also listed the name servers, which I was going to show you next. Since I already showed that in this output, I won't be typing that. But if you were to find just the name servers, and it will give you a shorter answer, just type set type equals ns, and do the same, google.com, press enter. All right, so let's go ahead and exit out of NSLOOKUP, and go to our Linux side for dig. I already have bo Backtrack booted up with the terminal running. So to get started, dig does just about the same thing as NSLOOKUP, but it runs off Linux, so why should we use it? DIG can show us an entire DNS response message, which can be extremely useful when trying to figure out DNS issues. So, to get started, let's type uh, DIG Tech H for help and a list of options. And it will give us a list of options that we can use through DIG. Now, let's go ahead and do the same thing we did with Google by finding the mail service DIG Tech T mxgoogle.com and as you can see here dig can give us a lot of information on those servers on that server so it actually gives us more of an answer than what ns lookup did so if you want a shorter answer you just type dig plus short and that will give us a shorter answer for what we're looking for so i hope you found these tools very helpful especially on an internal network because if people don't configure their NS servers correctly they may be able to set up their own DNS zone transfer from these tools to exploit DNS. On my next video I'll be showing you how to use Tracer and Traceroute in Windows and Linux. I hope you found this very informative and interesting to you and I want to thank you for viewing.